that all in the beginning. Let's get that this stuff out of the way. I need to get headphone cable soon. Megalovania, high melody. Quick melody! Quick! Redeem first! You have to redeem and the first command. D -O -D -O -D -O -D -O. Thank you, Melody. <laughs> D -O -D -O -D -O -D -O. <laughs> Not that. It's a it's it's a it's a channel points thing. It's a channel points thing. Everybody races for it. There you go. Congratulations. It's like a huge race every time. Anytime I'm playing games with somebody, th th like with multiple people, they're always just like waiting for me to search them so they can redeem first first. But you did it. Anyways, hello. Go is my waterfall. Yeah, I mean, I just start stream. I can. You're gonna redeem. Wait, I don't have hydrate anymore, but my water is full. I put Mio in it, so it has the energy stuff. I almost forgot that I didn't. I, I got rid of hydrate because it made me feel bad. Um. It wasn't just you, it was just. Uh, it was more of like I was worried I was drinking too much water. Uh, I should text my experts. Alright, Behgul must die. Uh, I can't remember when I put the brakes on this. I feel like it was not last week, but maybe the week before last week. Um, by the way, tell me if the stream's having any problems, like, audio-wise. Um, but I put a break on it due to the fact that E3, and also, like, I, I want to play other games. Um, but... Alas, uh, we didn't have D&D &D today. We, we had to cancel it for personal reasons. So, I was like, well, might as well play some Must Die. I need a stream. What am I do? Uh, the E3, my entire E3 reaction video is probably going to come out soon. I'm not going to upload it tomorrow because... I'm going to, there's going to be a big video that I'm actually premiering tomorrow. Like an actual, like, video premiere. The first of my channel's history. Frames bad, frames bad. Um, let's just say that Half-Life fans are going to be surprised. Frames usually are bad when I race at the world. Um, but yes. Back to Gulmas Die. Last time I was here, I was um, trying to figure out my uh, emerald problem. So, I could get more mending. And while I, I could exploit the villagers trading system, but ironically enough, I'm so lazy that I'd rather go mining. Which, it takes more work. 
keep in mind. I just don't want to like make I think I just didn't want to make a entire like farms worth of like farm field worth of wheat. Where did I put garlic? Oh, I put garlic up here. Shit garlic bean a spice rack? Okay, I guess so. I don't know where else to put it. Too many tea leaves. I'm full on tea leaves. I like, I swear that garlic, I was like, I'm pretty sure garlic is a spice. I can make tea somehow. I wanna make some tea. Ooh, that sounds nice. Yeah, that's heated up butter. That's hot coffee. There's some tea. Is that making it? Yeah. Yeah, let's just put all the excess in here. Have you tried the crate mod yet? I haven't. I'm probably not gonna try any more mods until Gomas dies, uh, season one, quote, end quote, of Gomas dies over. Tea doesn't do that much, but... Actually, I wonder if there's different types of tea I can make. Tea... Um... Bamboo steamed rice... But nothing that looks like I could. Zucchini, beetroot, tomato, tomatello, carrot. I'm full on carrots. I up in here. Turnips. Turnips. Sweet potato. Hot potato. Ah. Beans. Hi. Hi. So I think the plan for today get some tea out. Hi, custard. Hi, unnamed cat. The plan for today is to continue our exploitation of the villagers by way of actually creating wheat fields. Hello. Or, oh, I haven't took this wall down. Or, by ways of making an actual field of wheat that I can just take from. So I can uh, exploit farmers who don't actually take, actually, potatoes. Yeah, mostly wheats, passion fruit tart, and beetroot. Let's keep, let's grab some of the beetroot and potatoes and wheat I have at home. And we'll use that. Did I just wall jump? That looked like a wall jump to me. That was funny. I'm sure I have excess in here. Beat. Nope. Uh, pull. 57 potato. Wheat. Wheat seeds. I have three potatoes in here. I need to get a new aux cable for my headphones. Because lately, whenever I tilt, my, whenever I twist it in the wrong way, my audio starts cutting out in my head. My headphones, it sucks. It's so disorienting. Should probably keep all the cap on. Yeah. I've been using this for a long time though. How long have I been using it? Have I been using it since MacBook? Maybe. I would go wireless, but wireless, I like, I don't know. The audio differences between what you use for your audio throws me off so much. There's a skeleton in here, isn't it? Oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna, thank God. Okay, light this place up more because that's like the third time 
that a monster has showed up in here. It's actually insane whenever you open this door and there's a creeper. You can see there was a creeper here at some point. I pushed F7. I did not have the light level mod. Oh, they're all gathering. I see. Hello, farmer. You take beetroot. I did not bring beetroot with me. Why did I not bring beetroot with me? Hello, farmer. Give me your emerald. Thank you. You. Beetroot. You. 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 Potato. That is three emeralds, baby. I swear I had more beaver than that. Must have been mistaken. That's three. We got three emeralds. I'm not keeping my emeralds in here. I'm keeping them downstairs. Yeah, 31 emeralds. I could get another mending book. I have mending on my. Halberd, and I've been eating on my pickaxe right now. Which I could easily take it off with the unenchantment stuff and put on a book anytime I need. So if I ever need to upgrade, I can unenchant them and move the enchantments to a book and then enchant the next thing. I do not have the mod pack available yet, mostly because we are. I think we're planning to add more mods to it eventually. Uh, you'll see at some point. Um, but I do have a the zip file for it. I can like send it if if you want. I've sent it before. Just know that you know, at some point it might end up outdated. Which biome mod do you use? Um, biomes of plenty, it seems. Actually, something else I can do today is make a second floor to my to my house. My house could use a second floor. I even like it's kind of like set up to have a second floor. Like, like I was measuring it out. Like I can like have a second and maybe even like a third floor. Have an entrance to the back here. It would be pretty cool. Things to things that I've been considering. Really start up like connect different, connect start start connecting parts of my base, make it feel like all connected. I guess. Um. I look at map wise. We have not explored the southwest. Gotta 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 and that's what the song's called. It's called gotta gotta. Um There's also this huge chunk right here that's not explored. Uh Alright. Here's what we'll do. We're gonna convert one of these into a place in which I can um you know Grow wheat. Explo I, I need to make an exploiter. I also might put my mending on my... S Actually, I don't need to. Wait. It's, it's, these aren't really expensive to make, are they? Yeah, none. Then I probably won't. I probably won't put mending on this guy's slime sling just yet. They're, they're inexpensive. Um, it doesn't look like the shield really um, has durability either. So, in all honesty, let's put on our cloud boots. I would think. It would be kind of like the important thing to put it on. We, we use cloud boots all the time. Oh, we have even, we have four emeralds right here. 
I guess I didn't dump my inventory. That's when I went mining. I'm trying to think. My, my brain's going like a mile a minute, chat. I'm sorry. Sorting. Um, let's cut all these fancy ores out. I got golden boots with thorns three on them. Hi, Brittany. And got the cave root. I heard a noise. I'm scared to look. The noise was nothing. I got a fire charge? Where did I get a fire charge? What did I do last night? What did I do last time? Rather. Apparently I did something to get a fire charge. Alright. I'm putting... I'm sorry to put all the shard stuff in here. Just because I felt like it would be fitting to put them all in the same place. Frost shards and lava shards and stuff. Um, ooh, my neck kind of stiff. Got plenty more lapis, and we got 16 diamonds, which is cool. Um, am I forgetting something? I'm, I still have stuff to clear out here. Pine nuts. That is also something I got. Last time, I remember. Gosh, I have so much stuff in my inventory. Can I? It's too much. It's too much. Look how much cobblestone that is. It's way too much. It's concerning. It's a concerning amount of cobblestone. So I don't really need these making torches on me. Do I have another do I have I have some more chest? I'll make another double chest for stuff. I'll put it like right here. What I meant to do. That should be good. I might have to make an actual like storage storage room. The computer system's working great. Uh Problem being, that I simply just have too much cobble and dirt to reasonably put it in there without uh, jeopardizing literally everything else in that in the, in that space inside my computer space. It ends up becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy of dread and sadness. Stream. Do I still have some sky stuff up in here? Yeah, I do. Let's make a backup sky slime. There. Because I'm afraid this one's going to break soon. We need books. Do I have any extra books? Try boops. Book. I have one book. First time watching one of your shooting streams. What is your current objective? Uh, current objective. We want to make a wheat field, but also I'm going to buy a book mending right now. We need to make a wheat field so I can exploit these farming villagers, and then eventually 
when I get an ephemeral, I can buy a bunch of books of mending. Bunch of books of mending. Which will eventually make me very, very happy and not have to replace uh, tools every every day. Every day. That's pretty much it. Uh, speaking of, we do have a book of mending, and I wanted to put it on my cloud boots. Just in case. Right? Yeah. Because cloud boots are like, right now, they're my main way to get around. The good thing is, I don't have I even though this, I have to commit a bit, I don't have to commit too much, because at any moment I can just get another book, and use the disenchanter over here, and disenchant it, and get mint, book mending back. I should probably enchant the club boots even more too. How much? Will, I have I have so much XP. Wow, I didn't even know I had 94 experience levels. Maybe I'll enchant it a bit more for the hell of it. But yeah, and then eventually we're gonna go exploring and die maybe. Uh, standard fare for these streams. Unbreaking, it doesn't really need unbreaking. Spikes, that sounds funny. Firebrand. So we got five rand two now. Um, we got firebrand two and spikes two. Pretty good. Um, one breaking. That's a pretty meaty shield that I just crafted. Um, then I got put mending on. Got the mending boots. Doesn't look like I can enchant it past this point. That's a shame. Can I enchant my backpack? Hold up. Nah, I can't. That was just a fun test. Alright. Uh, let's make that wheat field. I mean, make a hoe. Which I should have plenty of materials to do. We'll make it out of iron. Just because I'd, I'm not too rich on diamonds quite yet. So if I make a... If I make... I don't want to waste my diamonds. Ugh. I don't want to waste my diamonds, which is why I want mending. I don't really watch streams due to uh, Wi-Fi problems with live stuff. Yeah. I can imagine. Especially with, like, on, on mobile versions, I, I've heard that it's nasty. Um, yeah, Mo mobile Twitch is like, it is not a fun experience. I, 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 I hear you on that. Because sometimes it works fine, and when it works fine, you don't really notice, because, you know, it's working as properly. But when you do notice, it's irritating. Oh yeah, that's right. I was talking about how tomorrow I was gonna up up premiere a new video. Yeah, first premiere of my channel. I have made a Half-Life One video, and it's long and it's good and it's funny. So I'm premiering it. Oh no, I'm gonna use the light on um, these farms. Um, and I like to think it was pretty funny. Get that new ox cord. Uh, let's get the wheat seeds. How about the wheat seeds? We can. Again, we can really start moving with the uh, getting the emeralds because 
all the farmers want wheat. Or at least a majority of them want wheat. And since wheat's pretty easy to grow, can I like... Oh man. Sometimes I wish that Ultimine will just ult plant all of them. Yeah, since wheat's easy to grow, there's no harm in just dedicating a couple fields to it. Just so I can, uh... Sure, make some emeralds. Wait, wait, wait. I need to make wheat. By lord, by god, I need to make wheat. Alright, cool. Alright. Well, at that point, we just wait. Because now, we planted all the wheat. But can't really do anything past this point so I suppose I'm checking discord real quick right. I suppose we'll figure out what's in the southwest I actually have more moved more east than I have west which is interesting I mean I moved pretty west over here and that's where I found the emeralds yes growing profits exactly exactly building the capital Controlling the market. Destroying competitors. You know. Minecraft stuff. Uh, I need close that gap here. Close that gap here. Close that gap here. Because I am obsessed with... Exploring. That is kind of like my downfall. If anything. It is, has been, and con will continue to be my downfall. I can go to Kirkramid. I believe there's a uh, dragon in here, so I should be quick. And also there's a Hydra there. At least a Hydra spawning point there. Somewhere on this coastline. I believe. The other way I need to go. Alright. Well, let's see what we can find. Hopefully something interesting. There's a lot of red, red wood forest in this world. This is interesting. I like this one. I feel like I've been here before, though. I haven't been to this island, though. Which I can see. Sky sling too. Oh, there's palm trees over there. I mean, yeah, it kind of just seems like a normal island. Oh, does that a siren rock? That's definitely a siren rock. Better be careful about that then. Do not want to get caught simping. Um, that's interesting. Not every day you see something spawn like this. Frost Gardens. Highland Moor. What is this place? Highland Moor. Highland Crag. Ah. Oh. So this is a high land biome. There's a cyclops over there. Neat little area. Next to two siren rocks. Uh, there are not exactly rules regarding to death. I think the difficulty right now it's normal. I don't know where to check that actually. Normal difficulty, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 
the rules to death are basically don't die, idiot. Because that's embarrassing. Uh, I should reveal the death counter. When I die, it adds to the death counter. I forgot to put that on screen. So I've died a total of 12 times in 7th streams. It, uh, it's, it's bad. The reason why we have a death counter is for suckers like these. Because they will instantly kill you. And I believe I saw a sea serpent over here. Those guys who will two-shot you when you're in the water. There's some mean, mean people. They're mean to me. Essentially, the whole thing was that uh, I was going, I'm going to this mo this mod pack blind. I don't know what to expect. This was a mod pack that a friend made for me. And by going into it blind, I also experience all the funny, funny little things that are in the mod pack blind. And that's by learning what those things do, I die. I have yet to be one-shotted by a Cyclops yet. I haven't yet to be eaten. But I have seen a Cyclops spawn in the middle of a village and kill a bunch of villagers twice. So that's fun. Oh, this is cute biome. I like this biome. It's very interesting. Uh, oh yeah, there's another one. Yeah, I almost ran right into that guy. Yeah. I wouldn't say that I die a lot, a lot. But when I do die, it tends to be very embarrassing. There was a time whenever I uh, was digging up obsidian. I was staying on top of the obsidian. I was sitting in water. And whenever I dug up the obsidian, I dunked right into the lava. And the water fell above me and turned the top of... Uh, turned the above of me into obsidian. So, uh, I got trapped under the obsidian and died. <laughs> Uh, and I had to dig my corpse out of like an ob the the obsidian to retrieve all my stuff again. It was uh, annoying and funny and sad. It was very sad to watch me do it because <laughs> it was just you're you're watching this poor man try to f free himself of his embarrassment. So yeah, it might, it might not be the most difficult thing in the world, but uh, I am uh, an, an idiot, as some people say. Like, I'm about to head, I was about to run right into that. Cool, a little ocean palace here. I guess I can move a bit more westward. <gasps> sea serpent. Uh. There are also times where I do super, some really cool stuff, though. Sometimes. There's a really cool moment where uh, I was caught between a siren and a sea serpent. And since the siren was in in enchanting me, what the hell? Uh, was alluring me, I couldn't run away from a sea serpent. Uh, so what I did was I actually ran towards the siren. Uh, and by doing so... I'm being shot at. Where am I? And by running towards the siren, I ended up uh, going over the siren, breaking out of her lure, and uh, escaping the... Uh... That just in back... I ended up back where I came from. What? Oh, oh, hey, hey. What the hell are those? Why are they shooting at me? Okay. That's fun. Rocks. I have yet to encounter rocks. Um, but they have certainly they certainly are encountering me. Okay. They aren't doing too much damage, but there's a pack of them and they shoot fast. Which seems to be their gimmick. There's also a sea serpent behind me, so I best be careful. Also, kind of sounds like my uh, buffed up shield is hurting them. 
I want a rock's feather. So. How do I know where they spawn? How do they spawn? I hear it's one. No, that's a chicken. Do they have like a nest? Hey, 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 buddy. I'm not looking, I'm not looking for trouble from you. I found some spinach. Ah, oh, there they are. Hey, buddy. Begins. Oh, there's an actual skeleton here. One second. Hey, buddy. Okay, she shields do have their ability. Alright, so I... I think I killed a rock by... Blocking. <gasps> baby creeper, baby creeper. So many things are happening at once. Okay, they're fighting each other. Um. Uh. It's not a rock. It's not a. It's not a boulder. It's a rock. What is this? S a stemphilian bird. Good on me. Got some feathers. Wow, wow. Hey, I say that was pretty good. Found some rock. Found some birds, killed some birds. You know? Pretty cool. Pretty on the spot of me. Pretty pretty smart, I would say. Didn't die, didn't die. Got some feathers. What do I do with these? I suppose I should maybe find some manuscripts and figure out. Ah, oh, that's right. Wherever there's a sheep, there might be a uh, guy, a funny guy, who will eat you. But yeah, what are those funny birds that I just killed do? Shoot you, it looks like. Damn. How do you use them to make arrows? Ooh. Maybe they do make fancy arrows. Did I take up this bed? I did take up this bed. Shoot. Um. Yeah, check it. Stim Stimphalian arrow. A metallic fleshling that enables the arrow soar like a bird. Ooh. Hold up. I can make a legendary weapon. It seems. Interesting. Make a bird. There's a bird skull. Interesting. Yeah, it does look like I can weaponize. If I can get some string, I could probably make that bundle thing. A legendary weapon. Hey, man. Buenos dias, Mundi. A dragon recently tore through here. That's yeah, not good. There is a... Yeah, there. I saw, like, an arrow fly down. I do not tend to figure out what that was. 
Sleep. We're good. We made it. Okay. I got some string. I got some quinoa. Sound like quinoa. One string. And I can make, uh... Seems like I might be a creature. Okay, so let's let's test it on him. Hey, is that chicken thing? That's my uh, cockatrice. It's, uh, it's custard. Uh, he came out of rotten egg. <laughs> like the first, one of the first things I did was throw a rotten egg, and out came custard. Is that a one use thing? Huh. Something tells me I wasted that. Yeah. Damn. Off the cringe of me. I made a fool of myself. A fool. Move up. Oh yeah, I can re I can teleport up there. Let's go from Ray Murmur and go south. You think it was basically a needle bomb? Yeah, that's what I that's what I gathered. Uh, and it seems like I used my needle bomb poorly. I probably used that uh smarter. What? Oh. Um, a lot of arrows around here. Alright, if I move down from here, I should be going into new territory. Yes. That's a graveyard over there. Let's check it out. Graveyard. I better be careful, because there might be ice dragons in the area. Which, you don't want to fight, from what I've heard. Regular ass ghost, though? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. It's best to figure out what it is, so in the future if I want to use it I know what it is and in a way isn't this entire thing about experimentation in the first place I think I, I did a good thing destroying it there we go alright let's take this ghost treasure oh there's a lot of stuff in here hey man you had a lot of good stuff Hey, can't do that. This guy's a cheater. He's going under me. This guy's dead. Got some chain mail. Magnet one. You know what? I should probably actually put my backpack on. I'll keep that. I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to use it quite yet. Because I do actually want that enchantment. I'd say I'll use it. No... Ooh, this is a dilemma. I'll keep it for now. Actually, no, I'll use it. I'm gonna gamble on, I'll probably get Magnet 1 later. Uh, yeah, look at that. That's definitely a Hydra spawn right there. Uh, one big yike over there. 
That was, I thought those wolves were sheep for a second. I was like, oh, yeah, let's kill these, let's kill these sheep and get some wool. These are sheep. Nope, they're they are, in fact, a cyclops. But yeah, I believe that Hydra spawn and no, this looks like a cyclops camp. Look, excuse me. What is this? Let's keep an eye on the durability. Yeah. You know what? That. Yeah, yeah. There's something in there that's keeping sheep. The pin. And I want to figure out what it is without killing myself. What's over there? I can't. I can't find a good vantage point to see what's inside because there's a cyclops near it. It's also that big hill. I've been told that that's where Hydra spawn. But that's only what I've been told. Still. Weird. Put that down as weird. Try to approach it from the top. That might be dangerous, but you might have a point. Watch, watch as the Cyclops walks to the top of it. Which I could probably. Oh, maybe it's underground. No. Oh yeah, look, there's no Cyclops in there. That's like a Cyclops camp. I could kill him. I can easily kill him right now. Easily. They are extremely hostile. They will eat you. My boomerang. What the hell happened to it? Oh, there it is. I see it. He's. He's definitely stuck behind that fence. He actually wasn't stuck behind that fence. It was in fact just sitting there. Beat him out. Kind of looks like he's stuck. I'm kind of just boomeranging him. This is embarrassing for him. It'd be awful if like a sea serpent came up from behind and killed me right now. But I have an eye on the map, so. Free Cyclops kill, though. Yeah. Pretty much. 
I mean, it was gonna be kind of free either way, but this is just extremely free. Problem comes. Ooh, it's take killing Cyclops take a while because they have a lot of health. It's kind of just easier to like drop them in a ravine and forget about them. He's coming, he's coming. Free Cyclops kill no more. He's angry. He said enough's enough. He says I'm gonna kill you now. Little does he know. Um, if all goes well, he will not. That's good. So, Bob Cup, how'd you find my stream? I'm curious. I like to know. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh my god, it didn't come back to me. He's right next to me, isn't he? I can't get too close to him. Uh, shit. Well, hi. He, he, he. he is out of the cage. He is moved. That's not good. That's especially not good. And there's two of them, too. This is going to be it. This is going to be an issue. Oh, okay, he's on the roof. Yay! But that's my diamond boomerang. That's the problem. That's my diamond boomerang. That's the good shit. That's the expensive shit. I could lead them away from the camp and grab it from there. But also, I don't know how easily Cyclopses are tricked. I'm gonna try leading him. Go out. You can come in. Look how led astray this guy is. This guy's completely led astray. I have successfully turned that guy into my fool. Now, the second one, the one who I've been bullying. Did I just grab it? I think that was Magnet. I think Magnet just grabbed it for me. Okay, we got it back. Cool. I thought that exit was filled with dirt for a second. I was like, oh god. Free Cyclops kill continues. This is the freest man on the planet. Oh, I fucking lost it again. Um... Right there. Okay. If I can get him outside, that'd be pog.
but as of right now, it seems like he is the critically game, the critically acclaimed game inside. Okay, I think I just got back. I did not. That? There we go. I got. It. Thank goodness for this magnet. Yeah, I'm glad I put this magnet armor on now. Because, wow, it's extremely good at retrieving my lost weaponry to me. Especially when it gets stuck on him like that. I'm getting tired of pulling this guy. Die. Thank you. Cool. The funny thing, in that time, I lost the need for the wool that I was going to take from him. So, let's put all that in there. Right. Ooh, Riptide and Efficiency, too. That's cool. I got a Trident. That's uh, some hot. I also got some leather. That's really good, because I need to make uh, books. And since I have paper trees, I can just make books now. Not to mention bone blocks can make bone meal. Got some manuscripts. I can learn more about um, the birds we fought. This was good. And now I also have the knowledge that these big circular things I see on the map aren't where Hydra spawn. Hydras actually spawn. I don't know where Hydra spawn. But I do know that Cyclops spawn in these big things. These big huts it looks like. Neat. And now... All cleared. Let's head to the iceberg biome. How's it going, chat? How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good after that. I'm gonna check Discord real quick. Discord has been checked. Standard ice biome. Technically, it's called a frozen ocean. But I call them ice biomes. Sarah biomes full of ice. Make it. If I go over here, there is a new. Area. A dead forest? Huh. 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 Interesting. Excuse me? A dead forest biome. Gravel beach. Dead forest. This is a biome I haven't seen before. A dead log. I mean, these trees don't look too bad. So, some of them look okay. Dead sapling. Interesting. What is this? Burnt forest. Black sand. Ooh. Stripped hellbark log. This is interesting. Very, very, very interesting. So essentially just looks like a dead ecosystem here. What is that? That's a... This looks like it's a, uh... Like a, mm, not red forest. Something similar. A, ti a tiger. Oh yeah, I've been here. Just need to close that gap, actually. To think. 
just a bit more uh, if I went if I went a bit more west a while ago we ran into this very interesting biome oh my gosh just tiny mushrooms here too Wow cool find just birch first birch, a bit a birch first I don't know why I said it like that Ooh. Look at that big cliffside. I can't help but feel imposed. Rainforest Mountains. Ooh. We were in this kind of biome once before. It's a really cool biome. There's a hobbit hole here. Nope. Well. Alright. For those that don't know, the rules are if there's something under here. Yep. I'm just going to take everything off me and I'm going to get to go in it. That's like the rule I made for myself. Take everything off. Make sure I set uh, my spawn point to this place. And we're going to see what's down there. No matter what. Alright, nothing's on me. What do you have? Another one of these areas. Cool. This is like the natural way that the game, this the mod tried to show you how to heal villagers. Zombie villagers. Essentially, it's free golden apple, free flash potion of weakness, and whatever else spawns down there. I couldn't tell you why someone would just leave that kind of stuff down there. But now it's ours. Hey! Bless me. Too strong. What situation? Uh, so. Uh, one second, let me sleep real quick. So I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain some mod stuff to you. So occasionally, when we're running around, we see this hob this this kind of structure spawn on a hobble hole, and usually, uh, whenever you walk in it, it is covered in carpet like this. Uh, but it, but sometimes there's something underneath here. So whenever I find a hobbit hole like this, I always make it a point to, no matter what, put like a chest down, set my respawn point, and I go down there, I, t I put all my stuff in the chest, and I go down there, and if I die, I die, essentially. Uh, mostly because I found a hobbit hole once where the bottom was just lava, and I was too cowardly to check it out. Also, that is definitely a dragon's nest right there, so I should be careful around here. Dragon can come in at any time and just end me right here. That's a biome I don't think I've seen before over there. It'd be safer than the rainforest biome because Zelda plants spawn in rainforest biomes all the time. And oh my gosh, they are now. This is so deep. Absolutely insane. I love this bomb. A silk glade. Interesting. A lot of spider webs here. Oh my god, there's straight up like cobweb trees here. Interesting. By interesting, I mean kind of scary. But still. There's like spider spawning here. It's a whole sp they got a whole spider biome in this mod pack. 
Oh, look, there's, another, there's a desert. I'm trying to be careful and not get too caught up in traveling all these places. But this, this is an interesting vibe. You can get, a, I can get like a bunch of string in here if I really need it, and if I'm desperate enough. Like, damn. Cool. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my gosh, it's, the plants here scare me all the time. Every time I run into them. <gasps> There's a dragon! I'm glad I caught that on the map. Found ourselves another village. Question is, is this village the one with a waste on? No, apparently they they're supposed to, but <gasps> another dragon! You gotta be shitting me, my friend. Oh god, another area. Oh gosh, there's a dragon over there. Dragon says over here. So many dragons. Too many, in fact. Too many dragons. Also, these nether areas are huge. Oh, there's a shipwreck. No wall I can I I would be able to build would protect a village from the dragon. Dragons are insanely destructive. Hey! Bless me again. Oh, there's nothing super good from this one. It's a shame. A lot of hippogriffs spawn over here. I don't know that much. I don't know, hippogriffs are mean. They're very destructive. They they burn ground. They burn the ground. And some of them spit fire, some of them spit lightning, some of them spit ice. And they're just they just when they run into things, they destroy things. It's basically just like having an Ender Dragon around in the overworld. So it's pretty shnasty. There's a siren over there. I can't really move any more southern. Unless I wanna. I mean, that does a sea serpent. Yeah, I shouldn't. I should stick my ground and decide hey, don't die. Oh, what? Look at that. We got ourselves a desert temple here. Yet another chance to redeem myself after uh, the first time I ran into one of these I opened the trap chest and I realized too late that I opened the trap chest and I died It's pretty epic
Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, I wasn't aware that these ones and these temples uh, aren't pressure plates. They are, in fact, trap chest. But now I know. And knowing's half the battle, right? Some diamonds. Oh yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. And got some funny runes too. Should be able to get out of here. Oh. Bam. Yeah. Uh, the charm of these nether places have lost their wear on me after I uh, traveled this one huge one. I did not mean to shrink my Minecraft window like that. Apologies. Have you slayed a dragon? Nah. Not yet. I haven't even slayed a Gorgon. Which I could... I, I could do, probably. I think where I'm standing right now, I, I could be capable of fighting a Gorgon. And maybe getting off hazy. Um, but what I want to do, the reason why I'm focusing on trying to get mending re really bad right now, is I eventually, I do want to make some, uh, better armor. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's cockatrice this year. Alright, I don't have enough time to mess with these guys, so, plan will be, uh, speed away, like, so. combination of these these items literally make it too fast f for sea serpents to catch up with me which is very good for water travel in fact I would say that it's probably the fastest water travel you can get in the game uh, with the mud pack right now as I know it Uh, well, uh, do you mean fighting a Gorgon? Uh, you wear a blindfold. There's blindfold items. Uh, and that's also the same way you fight cockatrices, because when you look at a cockatrice, it withers you away. But when you wear a blindfold, you can fight gor uh, Gorgons without becoming petrified. And also, they only show up in mausoleums, so you, you also going in expect to fight a gorgon. So the game just doesn't surprise you with surprise your stone now. <laughs> Lol. What was that? Oh, I thought that was something. Surprise, you are stone. And you're like, god damn it. They, this game even has like ways to deal with sirens. It's it's it's, it's kind of funny. Just being like, I'm going to put earplugs in, and suddenly I'm not, like, sirens have, like, no effect on me. Fuck them. Kill them. There's a village over here. And another portal. 
Um, I missed an entire village. Uh, almost missed an entire village, rather. Now, I know there's a village here. Very cool. Hello, funny villagers. Don't mind me. Uh, walking up your stairs and looking in your chest and taking all your food and uh, criticizing your baby's looks. Your baby looks awful. Truly, the most evil character. I've made myself out to be. I mean, who would criticize a baby? It's only evil people. I got a book! If I have enough emeralds, I can get another book of mending. Nice. It's protection payment. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yes, I will totally protect your village. Ha ha ha. Monkey face. Hammer? Battle hammer? Yo! I don't know, you can get weapons out of these things, that's cool. I will destroy you with my blunt force object. I guess it makes sense that weapons would be a blacksmith. Just as this sword. Four horsemen. Require a lance. Wait. Oh, I have a lance too. Neat. Oh, this one has reach too. Not necessarily as strong as my halberd. But my this lance has a bonus for it when you're riding something, it seems. Very cool. And this battle, battle hammer has knockback on it. Good finds, I would say. Good finds all around. The game said, you want to try these things? Got some more stuff, more fire charges, and a clock. It is a situational buff, but it's still cool. I enjoy this uh, Spartan Weaponry mod, I believe it's called. Especially the fact that Reach is something you can get that a weapon has. Because it makes me think of, uh, makes me think of D&D. And, like, long weapons have Reach. But that's just my nerd brain, so. You know. It is how it is. How it is, is, it's like that. <laughs> Why didn't I see the entirety of that village over there? Was there a reason? Yeah, 
Yeah, this mod's really cool. Mods that I have are really cool. Paper. He only recently got into D&D. I mean, same. I only got into it within the last one or two years. In fact, I'm uh, usually uh, around this time uh, every other Saturday. Uh, we do D&D on stream. It's very cool. Uh, we were going to do it today, uh, but some personal stuff came up, so we had to cancel it for now. But yeah. I stream D&D sometimes. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun times. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know why I said hey to the guard, but hey. Buddy. I work alone. Forget it, buddy. I work alone. Why didn't I come over here? My only guess for the reason why I didn't come over here is because I was just like... You scared me. Uh, was because I was thinking... Is that... Oh, I got a, a Warhammer? Cool. Blunt force trauma. I got a Warhammer. I got a Warhammer and a Battle Hammer. See, this one, I think this one's two-handed. That's the difference. Battle Hammer's like Thor Hammer. I understand. I'm becoming like a... What's the word? A force to be reckoned with is not the word I was looking for, but it's a good way to describe the fact that I have this many weapons on me. But the true question is, am I good with any of them? And the answer is, maybe. I don't know. Which tends to... Be, when you say, maybe, I don't know, that tends to me probably not very good at them. Alright, that lock. Just one more strip of land that has been explored to hit. After that, we'll go home and get some wheat and start making mending on stuff more. I'm a Swiss Army knife of weapons. A Swiss Army knife of weapons would be incredibly heavy. But, it would also be funny. And considering the fact that it would be funny. I think it's a good idea. Me, 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 Ow! E. Okay, I'm good. Body hurty, body hurty. Ooh. What's up, foolish bobcat? Why are you looking like that? Huh? Body hurty. Okay, I'm good. L. How did I end up in this cave? This is a cool area coming up here. I need to find a better way to dispatch of them. I did almost casually fall in a ravine. 
I casually fall into a lot of things. I could get out of the ravine easily. I just don't want to because it's a hassle. I'm sweet home. Alright, let's unload our loot upon this my poor, poor sorting systems. I definitely need a second floor. I'm starting to see it. Things are starting to uh, pile up everywhere. And I'm starting to think I need a second floor. Sorry. Sorry if you saw me grab in the air. There was a fly. And I need to put a flower in there. There's so much stuff. I have so much stuff. This is like the most overwhelming part of uh, any like venture out into the world is I come back and I have so much stuff. I'm like holy shit. Like ugh. I have to figure out where to put everything and it's like ugh. it's like a whole ordeal. Make sure apples shit they go in there. Easy. I put I still put rotten flesh up there, you know. But then it's like okay. My fridge is full of carrots, so I can just put carrots up there. And I have meat. I have sixteen raw mutton now. I have a lot of raw mutton. I could I could probably cook some of that. I got poisoned potatoes, but like What's that gonna do? Um, some aloe leaves. You don't really put that in a. What is these doing here? You don't really put that in a. There. It's like ugh. It's too much. Too many things. My brain can't handle it at times, but I manage. Oh Lord, do I manage. By God, do I manage. I don't know where this cook mutton come from, but it's pretty cool. Um, oh man. My brain's screaming at me right now. It's like, why are you doing this? Stop it. You're thinking too much about Minecraft. I'm like, please, let me live. For the love of God, let me live. Please. I'm starting to run out of space in my room drawer. I'm, I'm starting to have too many runes. Right. Let's put all the ores that I found in there. In the ore chest. Okay. Alright, we're starting to whittle away everything. And by whittling away everything, things are starting to make more sense. Diamonds and emeralds in there. That's plenty of emeralds for a second book amending. And I did get a book uh, while I was out, so I should probably do that. Put on my like, uh, shield. I love this song. This song's good. Sorry, I got distracted. I started scrolling through Twitter. I was like, checking my Twitter notifications, man. 
that's what starts happening. You're like, but instead of organizing everything, I could be looking at Twitter. And you start looking at Twitter, and things, and then you lose track of time, and you start, you just start wasting time. It comes to self-fulfilling prophecy, and, and, and it sucks. And uh, there is a skeleton in uh, your uh, your your workshop, and you get upset. Hey, there's a fly in here. You can't shoot me while there's a fly in front of me, asshole. It's like a sweat fly, or something. A little bugger. Yeah, I'll probably put mending on my shield. Actually, sirens would be nice to learn about. Oh wait, the symphony and symphilian word birds. Perfect. Sirens. Whoa, say no, the sirens outcroppings for none of them can resist their charm. Sirens feature the first we have when we have fish. It's known to be a mermaid. We can encounter mermaids. The bear smile because as soon as they spot passing, the mermaids will begin to sing. Sounds really powerful, giving any humanoid being coming to quickly infatuated with the mermaid. Even before it's up to the ship, swim towards him. And the effects that are not leading this led on to the doom. Sirens form become your parent. Behold the Naga, beautiful mermaid gets away at this terrifying primal beast. When its prey has been distracted by the form of beauty, it jumps into the water, beings attacks, and sides all to come in groups two more. This beast can be certain, certain death from many but there's a way to protect yourself. If you use, if you make earplugs. Then to your XP game. Uh, counterpoint, I have experience boost on my pickaxe, which is very nice. My XP right now is at 87. <laughs> Which means if I go mining, even by mining stone, I would, I get experience. It's very good. In fact, I should probably pre 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 XP boost on like everything. It's a dent, but it's a dent that I'm willing to take because I feel like I can probably handle it. Birds, smell birds, songs, overworld, exploring territory. Uh, from 10 to 20. 3 to 20. Okay, powerful arrows. Oh. If you, if you kill one bird, all the birds will flee. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah. Experience boost is really good. It's like, here, I'll show you. See? Even by mining stone, I got experience. And like, there was no damage to my pickaxe whatsoever. Like, uh. Here, I bet this would be good. Like, if I say. I just decided to just. It's insane. It's crazy. It's literally like, oh, well, now I win. I win the game of uh, experience. It's very funny. And I love it a lot. It's very good. Uh, let's get a good that book of mending right now. Looks like we came in while they were about to start the day. I think the librarian's actually about to level up, so. Let's see if he does. Java mods are crazy. They're insane. I've really only touched the surface of it. You can make a motorcycle at some point in, the mo in one of these mods. 
My friend added a mod that would create cars and guns. <laughs> like one sec, can I make a revolver? I cannot. Can we get L just revolve? I don't even know what that is. But can I make a gun? I can make a blow gun. Uh, rifle. Oh, I guess he didn't. I guess I don't have guns. Car. I swear you can make a car. <laughs> Let me look. Uh, uh, ultimate car. Car mod. Large tank containers. Key batteries, SUVs, transporter. Yeah, you can make car. It's like a whole car system here. Motorcycles. I don't. I don't know though. It doesn't look like there's actually motorcycles in this, which is sad. It's bad. That makes me sad. I want to. I want to ride a motorcycle. I want to ride a motorcycle. I mean, you could still get PC Java. It's only 20 bucks, but, it, you know, you have to buy it again. Actually, I feel like, for some reason, I feel like if you get Bedrock, you can also get Java. That might be wrong, though. Don't quote me on that. That's just like a hunch. Like, I, I, I feel like it. Speed. Speed. Speed spiel. Speed spiel. And with that, I'll actually be able to use this as a shield. Don't worry. That will break. Seems I have accidentally connected into a different cave system. Oops. It wouldn't accept payment. Uh, then I think maybe you can just get Java Edition for free. If it wouldn't. Have you searched it up? Like, can you can you get Java for free if you have Bedrock? Cause I I swear I feel like that's a thing. Or maybe I did buy... Did I buy Bedrock separately? I don't remember. I do not remember. What is this? This enchantment book says unknown. Uh... I just noticed that. What is hydrodynamic? You guys want to figure out what this unknown book does? I do. Let's put it on my iron battle hammer. For the hell of it. For some reason, I feel scared. Oh, it's been 2016, you own a PC? I see. My bad, my bad. Ay, 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 Thank you for following, Bobcat. Appreciate it. 
I really do. Bug on my way! Damn. I try to get the bu <laughs> the bug land on my light. I try to get it. I am worried, though, in secret. And by in secret, I mean I'm telling you right now. That I'm worried that putting the unknown enchantment on my warhammer will cause an explosion and it'll be very sad. So. Unknown. I just gave this battle hammer unknown power. I don't know what it does. I'm scared. What if this thing explodes on me? Wait, point eight attack speed? Oh, wait. On God, this is like literally like, like blowing my mind right now. Okay. I'm gonna die. <gasps> Well, three of them, but still don't know what the unknown tra what the unknown trait does. Have you been to Nether yet? I have. It's very pretty. I have to show you. I have two arrows in my arm. Cool. Uh, I enchanted this hammer with the unknown trait. Yeah, my nether portal's right there. I'm pretty sure there's like other dimensions I can go to in this mod pack, but I haven't checked them out yet. Also, my frames do really good in nether. I, it's, I can't explain why. My frames are about like 58, like 60 frames per second. It's insane. But yeah, look how pretty this is. This is not the area I was thinking of. I haven't gone nether netherite mining yet. I think that's also something I'm waiting for like full diamond armor to do. Cause uh mining in the nether is dangerous. Yeah, look at that. This is pretty. Very pretty. Beautiful. Ugh. Do you have the Aether mod? Uh... No. Does not look like it. It's so cool though. So cool. It's very a lot of crystals. I don't even know what those crystals are for. I should probably look. And I, it's perfectly fine for me to look because, um, can I, what the heck, I got a level, I have, uh, 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 oh my god, they're huge. Oh my gosh, that's how big level five dragons are. 
I don't remember getting this skull. Like, I probably did on stream, but those things are huge. Hey! Don't attack me while I'm thinking about my skulls. Not worth it. I didn't know dragon skulls were so big. Uh, but back to the crystals. Yeah, red, no, those red cave crystals. Why is a boomerang? Uh, it's a nice ranged weapon that doesn't require ammo. Because it comes back to you. The risk being that you could just lose it. All right. Which isn't fun. With the boomerang, I'm able to cheap out a lot of mobs that I wouldn't have cheaped out otherwise, such as sea serpents and cyclopses. I would say that it's probably one of my most useful utilities right now. Well, I don't have it in such like a huge amount I, I could just craft arrows but honestly I've never been one that enjoys having to make ammunition that's just a personal bias a personal bias of a of a fool hey Adrian thank you for subscribing for 17 months yeah personal bias of a fool That is what I am. Ooh, I need a stretch. Yeah. Alright, what's my game plan here? I guess we could check on the wheat. We're not doing too hot. Um, but I can't just like spend every moment that I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm going to explore. Ex I can't do that because eventually it's just going to be, but I really want to explore though. Oh man. Huh? I guess that's the, uh, that's the way it works. Yeah. So, if I go X three thousand five hundred from from here, I can like just like get that whole upper area. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go exploring because I'm a I'm a fool that succumbs to his wants. I'm a fool without self-control. I haven't even finished emptying my backpack. I'm already making other decisions. I'm like, I want to do more stuff. I am a fool. You're handsome if you want. Shut up. I know I'm handsome. I have too much stuff. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. Ah! I always do this. I go on adventures and then I end up complaining because I have too much stuff. Every time. Like literally, how how valid are my complaints if I'm the one who keeps doing stuff to get me more stuff? You know? I'm the man that's causing this to myself. The man, <laughs> the man behind the slaughter was you, you fool, fool. You know what? I love it. I love to be the man behind the slaughter. It's this stupid joke. 
God, you go so far, though. I love cloud boots in this game. Definitely one of the best mechanics. I feel like my music's kind of loud. I know, it's actually kind of fine. Sorry. I'm, I'm, it's my ADD. My ADHD's kicking in. I'm starting to think, oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. Check on your audio, actually. How loud is it? <gasps> no! That's an ice dragon! Oh my gosh, is the ice falling? That's an ice dragon! <gasps> Did you see me? I think these Minecraft sh streams are like expose my ADHD in full display. Because I, whenever I play Minecraft on stream, I tend to just start talk. I talk about what I'm doing, and when I talk about what I'm doing, I'm basically just saying, "I'm gonna do this." Hey, look, what's this? Wow, that's crazy. That's insane. What was I doing? What? I forgot the climbing is being. Never mind. That took too long. I immediately lost interest. Actually, no. Crime sitting's good. Actually, I think. I think you can use that with stuff. Oh, he's cutting onions. <laughs> but it is time like these when Ultimine really comes into view. I was about to be like, did I even put my my second mini book on anything? And I realized I, I remembered I put it on my shield. Crazy. Movement master. I would say I could probably outrun a dragon, uh, but that's something somebody says before they die. How dark it is in there. I could probably outrun a dragon. Dies. Alright. Our trick shall continue from this point. Unless you have more the creature to see if you can build a respawn point in the nether. Yes, I remember that. There's a sea serpent there. I just was about to completely ignore that. There's a mausoleum here. This is where Gorgon spawned. I do not want to be in this position with the sea serpent. Sea serpents are bastards and they will literally jump on land to kill you. They do not care about their well-being. They want you dead. Fear not the dark and embrace humanity. That's a is that redwood forest? You think I would recognize one because I live in one? Yeah. It's getting late. You can. What is that? Oh, that's a dragon! Why is there always a dragon? Huh? Fuck you. Way too close for comfort. Like a dragon nest, fire dragon. It looks like it's a level one. It's kind of small. Um, I just got to go for it and leave. Look, another cyclops. Uh, 
hut. Uh, mobs, from what I can tell, mobs and fire and ice are ones that spawn, and they do not despawn. With only a few exceptions, being like uh, cockatrices and stuff. Like smaller mobs like cockatrices don't, the, the, they don't, they're not like solid. Speak of the devil. Um, but dragons, uh, cyclopses, stuff like that, they are permanent until you kill them. So right now my, contingen my contingency plan for dragons, I'm lucky that I didn't set up shop near dragons. Um, I'm just lucky. But right now the plan is simply to run. My helmet broke. I'm gonna be sad. I think the scary thing is that you don't encounter the stronger dragons of the overworld. Um, you can only encounter like level 4, level 5 dragons underground. Which is terrifying. Because that means you... Well, uh, I think they only, they only uh, patrol around a certain area. And I have like none nearby. So I'm I'm pretty set. I like completely looked out in that regard. In reality, I think the only I don't really have to worry about like any fire and ice monsters where I'm from, which is really lucky. Cause I'm pretty sure sea serpents are also one of those creatures that they don't despawn. Um, but when you kill them, they're, like, dead permanently. You're not gonna run into them in that area. So, like, I'm- I was- I, I lucked out. Really, the only thing I have to worry about is that the red- my redwoods are so tall that, like, it gets really dark in the forest. So a lot of things spawn! Goodbye. Plus, with my setup right now, I outrun most mobs. Most fire nice mobs, at least. I really don't want to look through this for this, uh village to be honest I think my I think the least entertaining part of Minecraft is finding a village and being like okay I'm going to take everything from it even though I do it and even though it's helpful it's just like well man I have to look through every single house and make sure I didn't miss something because if I miss something I'm going to get irritated with myself and find it later kind of just a hassle a hassle for stuff that's like once you're pretty late game, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're right. I cannot run from my problems forever. That is true. So eventually, I'm going to get strong enough to kill him. It just so happens right now I'm not. Sadly. Sad day. What the hell is that? Bro, the water's purple over there. Excuse me? You had some popcorn shrimp. You see, you saying a shrimp made this popcorn? It's like a village I went to. What? What? Yo, let's check this out. What is this place? It's a cyclops there. So this village is pretty much fucked down there. Mystic Plains. Oof. Buy him so plenty. Interesting. It's pretty, I'll give it that. Oh, and there's pixies here. 
Yeah, I, want, I, I, I probably want to get out of this area. Pixies are annoying. Pixie will steal stuff out of your inventory. It's the worst. Some of the most annoying creatures in this mod pack. This is a graveyard here, though. Always fun to check out graveyards. Because um, I'm mainly grateful. Yeah, they're mini thieves. Like, so it can be annoying whenever you're like. There was one. You can put them in uh, jars. So I put a fairy in a jar. And then another fairy stole the fairy in a jar. And I didn't notice. So I spent like a good amount of time searching around for fairies. A fairy that put another fairy in a bottle. It's quite funny. I find. Ghost art are the type of mod that you can't run from. Like, watch, I'm, I'm gonna be like the fastest I could be right now. And I prom I'm pretty sure that ghost will still be like, coming after me. Of course I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Like, okay, I just crossed the entire ocean. Let's see if the ghost still comes at me. Uh, it might not. I don't know. Probably uh, got unloaded. <laughs> so I can't really chase me. Ah, uh, water. I'm gonna get more water. I'm gonna have to get more water soon. I don't know. I thought it would be a funny test. No. But in the end, I kind of just like... Oh, God. You guys. I was like, what the hell was that noise? Oh, these guys are fast, too. One second. They're gonna get fucked up, though. I'm gonna take their mask. Give me your funny mask right now. Hey. That should do it. Bastard. Cockatrices are so annoying. Oh, there's a dragon nearby. Yeah, I should probably not stick around here. Not too long, at least. So we feel mile? Golden Prairie. Oh yeah, I think that dragons like right there I don't see it but I swear it was like right there all right we are we're almost at the end of our the goal I had in mind what is ooh oh wait Oh no, they're just that's just like the the group of uh, funny mask people. It's a faint so there's a fancy little village here. That's nice. That's cute, that's cute, that's cute. I enjoy that. Wait. 
and if we go over here a bit more. What are they? They're like mask dudes, and they drop mask that when you put them on, it grants you a uh, effect, like a potion effect, essentially. I think they're like cactus people. Like I think their body's made out of plant, and like when you kill them, they turn, they like, they get sucked into their own mask and, or something. It's very cool. And they all, they spawn in a group. Um. Oh, that's a dragon's nest. Oh, there's two of them. Cool. The cool one, the bad. There's the dragon right there. This village is fucked. I'm sorry, y'all. So sorry for your Veloc village. Cool. Physical spirits, maybe. I think they have a funny. They have a funny name, like an actual name, but I do not know it. The good thing is, fire dragons are. Uh, they go to sleep at night. So if you run around the nighttime near fire dragon camps, they will be asleep. That is the cool thing. Another village there. So I can kind of just like sidestep and like fill up my entire map. Big field area over here. It's very pretty. Ow, I just immediately got shot. That hurt. My feelings. My pride. And. My feelings. Times two. Yeah, look at that. He's coming right towards us. No! I jumped right into the arms of a cyclops. Damn! You just got- you guys got bit. Walk it off, buddy. I said as protected three, I should probably not lose that. <laughs> Fuck it. Put on the golden chest plate. Col <laughs> Curse of binding. Yeah, I'll live once in a while. Let's make another slime sling. Yeah. Cyclops is nasty. We learned that firsthand. That goes to show you. That was that was my way to show you guys not to mess with them. Oh my fusel officer, that's right. I should probably put mending on that. Oh yeah. The message really nasty. I don't have a backpack to put anything in, but...
The good news is we didn't lose all of our stuff. We can retrieve our corpse. Bad news is the closest thing we have is, is the crewmies. <gasps> Fuck you. Little asshole. You're lucky the things are explosion resistant. Cockatrice here. Right, let's head north. Head south. I do have to be careful because I believe there's still dragons around here. Yeah, there's a dragon straight north. So we might have to walk through it. We were over here. How? What do you mean? Oh, how can I get my stuff back? Well, uh, when you die, we have the corpse mod on. So when you die, you you leave a corpse, and on your corpse has all your stuff. The uh, the the thing is to retrieve your stuff. You have to find. You have to get back to your corpse. Thus, the challenge of getting back to your corpse begins. And I believe it shouldn't despawn until it has until you, like you took all your stuff off of it. Oh yeah, that is a mechanic on this mod pack. It's kind of like you know the concept. Of like, I think there's like a gravestone mod that does like something very similar. It's like that, except you see your like your body laying on the ground where you died. It's traumatic. Oh, that's just a. It's just a bunch of uh, fun people. Cockatrices. Gotta be careful where I look. If I look like. Oh! Dragon Bones. This was a level 2 lightning dragon that died here. Neat. But I cyclops hit you like a stick of cheese. Yeah. Uh, but like I'm built different, so I think I'll be fine. At least my bot, my dead body will be fine. Cause I'm quote unquote built different. What is this? I know we're on a mission to get back my 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 dead body, but I'm curious to see what this is. There's some sort of creature in here. Aha. Uh -huh. Now comes the guardian. Multiple guardians. A low bundle. What kind of thing is this? Interesting. You're interesting. You could get toe. Whatever that was, I just destroyed it. Oh, I see. The way that these things are spawning kind of makes it seem like there's like a spawner in the middle of this. Interesting. Interesting thing. Me thinks. Don't worry, my mod knowledge is also very rusty. But since this is the eighth stream I done of this mod pack, 
my, my friend's commod pack that they made for me. I have slight knowledge. What to expect? Hobbit hole. Alright, let's check it out. I can already. I, I'm like. I've already spoiled myself at what's at the bottom down there, but I'm going to go down there anyways, and it's going to hurt. Especially since I'm starving right now. Luckily, we have some roasted yucca food. So I have a chance. Also, this already has a crafting table. I've wasted my I've wasted my wood. I have wasted my wood. <sighs> Actually, I didn't even mean to make a crafting table. I have a crafting stick on me. Shake of my head. I actually might leave some of the sand that I brought here. And you know what? I'm gonna bring my war hammer. I can't take off my chest plate, I realize. Not at all what I expected. This is just one of these things. I thought there was gonna be a bunch of spiders down here. Kind of seems like it kind of is. If I were to break this wall here, silverfish. Looks like there's only one. So we lucked out on that. We were lucky there was only one silverfish down there. stacks of that stuff. Otherwise, I, I'm not going to need it. Where were we? We're getting very close to when I died. Where I died, rather. This pack have a mod that will allow you to increase your health. That, I do not know. That's a very good question. If it does, uh, then I should probably get that. We are approaching, we're posting the uh, sobbed scene of previous death. Sobbed, sobbed, sobbed. The term I came up with, sobbed. Issue. My inventory is already kind of full. So this is going to be like a, another issue, just another cyclops over there that I almost ran into. Issue one, there's a cyclops up here, first off. Right next to my dead body. So we're gonna have to lead him astray. Second issue, it's getting late. Third issue, my inventory's full. So I got kind of a lot of problems right now. Yeah, 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 come down here, buddy. It's fine. If I lead him over to the river, I can bait him out. There's a lot of cyclopses over here. He 
It's not even funny anymore. And it's getting late, which is bad. Very bad. Got some stuff back. Wow. Th that's kind of crazy that the mod does that. The corpse mod would all will automatically like if you have something of binding on it, it would it'll automatically take it out. Like even if uh, <laughs> even if you have it on, it will take it off of you. That's kind of crazy. Actually, I could probably take the curse of binding off of that armor. I'm thinking about it. This man is empty. Try not to get nommed again. Will do. I say as a <laughs> like I say as a cyclops slowly approaches behind me. Pretty nasty death. Try not to recreate it. The nice thing about the Cyclopses is that sometimes you'll just spawn on top of villages. So in like areas where Cyclopses can spawn, you can run into a village and it's just being... You just see like a villager get picked up and eaten. It's crazy. I think there's a dragon nearby. I don't see a nest, but I do see something I'm... An unfamiliar life form over there. I'm on the mini map. It's not moving, which is concerning, but notable. Could be underground. For all I know. Uh, do, 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 bring me up. Do, 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 do. I too late. Whatever. I lost interest. The moment I fell, I was like, okay. Actually, I think. Yeah, that, I know that's not the nest. Whoop. Whoop. All my latest streams has just been this. Me doing this. This is what I find fun. Running around. Checking shit out. I'd love to do a combat stream. But I think exploring is the most interesting part of Minecraft. Especially about it. Like, I've had a lot of fun just looking at shit. Also, this is a dark forest. Yeah, that too. My village does have a little wall around it. For sake of villagers not getting killed because they need them. is kind of insane. 
like how this this land generated pretty cool maybe one of these days I should do it with like the nether just like go around the nether die from lava like five times it'd be pretty cool hit 20 deaths just by traveling the nether That'd be fun. I should do that. I should do that as like a netherite stream. Because I need netherite. It wouldn't be too hard because I got a pretty good pickaxe on me. Ow. That was a berry bush. And I just got berry bushed, nerd. You just got berry bushed, nerd. Get very bushed. It's also the crawl that you and all fours in the mod dungeon. We have like we have I have a like a, a mod one of the, one of the creatures that the mod adds is like this underground um. Like ore tortoise, a tortoise that has like ores on his back. Uh, but when I first saw him, I was in a mine shaft, and uh, it was dark, and all I saw was like something crawling on all fours. I was like, "That's please tell me that's not a giant spider." <laughs> if it was a giant spider, I would have cried. But no, it was a funny. It was a funny turtle. Another ocean palace. This is how I chart the ocean. I just go, I just go flying. Mm. I don't know what I just saw, but it looked like two sea serpents sp spawning on top of each other. I wonder what dictates those things spawning, sea serpents. If I can figure that out, I'll avoid it at all costs. Smiley face. That one's huge! Wait, holy shit. Did I see that correctly? Holy shit, pull up. You saw that, right? That one was huge. That was scary. It's an ice dragon nest, like right next. I, I just jumped right next to an ice dragon nest. Oops. That's a big bastard! Oh, mamma mia! Oh, actually terrifying. Oh god, I need to get up and off Angel's point just to see it better. Yeah. 
huge. The crab just snapped at me. Huge. Terrifying. I think he's attacking the squids. And I suppose we should just go east. Honestly, I'm kind of getting tired. Two and a half hours in bed. It is getting late. I did start stream late, a little bit later than I usually do. So I might call it quits soon. so cool to jump off of mountains in this mud pack. Thank you. I appreciate it. Tell you what, if you want more content, I got a YouTube. Got a shill, of course. Always. Uploading, uh, premiering a new video tomorrow. Very cool. Uh, but also, there's also the full streams, which are always fun. But I appreciate you calling me entertaining. That is uh, something I definitely appreciate. Um, I don't know what I'm going to stream tomorrow. That's a fire dragon nest. Oh god, why? what am I doing? And I'm like actually running straight towards I'm pretty sure. Alright, Crummy's just right over there. But yeah, I really appreciate it. Why did I fall into- I thought I fall into a deep hole. Um, what do I have to play? I can play more Mario. I also can play some more Risk of Rain. I got some Risk of Rain I need to play. I don't know what I just got hurt by, but I'm going to- I'm choosing to ignore it. Get me out of here! That was a sea serpent! I almost died again! What am I even running towards right now? Just look, just look, closely, closely, closely. Just go to sleep. I appreciate it. I was appreciating returning faces. It's a pretty pog thing to do, I find. I was taking a pseudo, like a kind of a break this week, like an unannounced break because E3 happened and I got super tired after watching E3. So I, I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things. Alright, that's good. Do. I made my content for tonight. Wee. Oof. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow, I don't know what I'm streaming. But I'm gonna, I'll probably try to stream some, something. It's Father's Day, so I'm probably gonna end up streaming a bit later. You came too late? You came right at the end, Kaylee. Come on. It's like 10pm for me. 
It's late. I'm tired. But thank you for watching. I'll be streaming tomorrow. So, if you want goal content this weekend, I'll probably be streaming tomorrow. It's going to be Father's Day, so I may start a bit late. And uh, I do have a video premiering tomorrow. So, look out for that. I'll announce it in the Discord. Speaking of, there's a Discord. Join it. It's not super active, but I do talk in there sometimes about stuff. Um, otherwise, goodbye. Actually, I'm not going to say goodbye just yet, because there might be people streaming that I could raid. So, just give me a moment. Um, Koo's playing Dark Souls, and... Oh! I always raid Mar. I feel bad sometimes, We're just raiding the same person over and over. But they're playing um, Mario 64, actually. So I'll probably just rate them. They're playing high-definition Mario 64. It's very cool. I wanted to play the version at some point, eventually. So, raid. Uh, how many viewers do I have right now, actually? Okay, yeah. Have a good night, everybody. I appreciate you all coming here. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye.